Hi, this is Ken from the Freeplane community. This is a video about the Freeplane workspace, what it looks like, um, the area that you have to work, and all the different uh, toolbars and whatnot that are available. This is a screenshot showing just about everything that you can have open. open. And this is a screenshot uh, with some the same things open, but a few markers. I'm going to turn zoom on here and this up at the top is the menu bar down below is the toolbar below that is the filter toolbar and I'll be going over this each one in a minute uh, the next line down is the F bar shows you what your function keys are mapped to if anything and then this is the basic area where I'm gonna turn this off where you make all your changes on, on a mind map this is the um, basic mind map workspace over on the right is the icon toolbar which lets you choose from a, a set of icons to use in a uh, in the nodes of a mind map. On the right hand side is the properties panel. This is where you can change uh, properties of nodes and on this other tab you can also uh, make calendar reminders and play with attributes. Now this also has uh, the scroll bars uh, showing just about everything on this interface can be displayed, made visible, or hidden out of sight. So if you don't, if this is too much clutter uh, in this map with all these toolbars and everything open, then you can close them down. Down here is an editor for making notes. Each node can have its own set of notes. Uh, nodes are designed to hold keywords, just a few uh, short words. But you can also attach as much text as you want to every note in the nodes editor. And down on the bottom is a status line. And again, this is a screenshot. So we're going to go over to a live version now of, of Freeplane. Now, Compared to this other, this has everything open that you can have open. This only has um, just the bare map. It has a status line at the bottom, but it also yeah, we can turn that off. You access all the properties um, or all the uh, elements on a workspace either through right-clicking anywhere on the map that is not a node if you right click on a node it gives you information about what you can do with a node but if you click off of a node then this is what you can have uh, in your workspace so the first thing you can do is uh, press full screen that gets rid of I'm going to get out of that you'll notice that gets rid of the uh, work, free plane title bar these tabs and it also gets rid of the uh, windows task bar. So I'm going to do that again. Full screen. Now you can use this to maximize the amount of space you have available for your map and you can also use it for if you're using Freeplane to present information you can turn this feature on. Now one by one I'm going to turn these elements on. So up here and we'll zoom in again. Up here this is the menu bar and it can be accessed either with the keyboard or the mouse right now I'm clicking on view and toolbars and you can access these just as you could with the right clicking but also I'm going to off, click off here and I'm going to press the, my alt key and notice how some of these um, options up here become underlined so holding it on the alt key now I'm going to press the letter V as in view and now I'm just moving with the keyboard and I can get the same things that I was getting with the mouse. So that's pretty handy. 
the next thing let's um, I'm going to keep one the current um, workspace element clicked so I know where I'm at I'm going to click toolbar now and then I'm going to come back in and take off menu bar so we're just going to deal with these one at a time so this is the first part of this uh, let me zoom in again on the left these have to do with navigation uh, this is the view or zoom level these have to do with file operations and printing this is undo and redo and then over here we have some control over the fonts and styles and then there's some cloud things I'm just I'm going to cover what's available on each one of these and not go into any detail those will be in, in follow-up videos this this section has to do with folding and unfolding maps this has to do with search and then this is um, locking so we come back into the map area right click and we already had toolbar so we're going to then right click and take off toolbar so this is the uh, filter toolbar and each one of these may or may not have uh, keyboard shortcuts you can map all of these by going back up to the uh, view menu when the menu bar is, is uh, shown view toolbars and if I wanted to uh, say supply a keyboard shortcut here I hold the control key down click and then whatever key I put in here like I'll just put uh, shift control alt um, T for toolbar and if I click OK I guess you couldn't see that I was holding down the control alt shift T uh, and that's why that's in there now if I press OK that would make that the keyboard shortcut I'm not going to do that here so I'm just going to press uh, can't clear and cancel so let's see let's turn that uh, menu bar back back off so we're looking at the filter toolbar so this uh, undoes a filter action or re re applies a filter action this includes the descent the ancestors of whatever nodes are being filtered and you can turn that on or off and this is the descendants and this is applying applies things to the filter nodes here you can save um, named filters and just apply them real quickly this is these are for Bible study here and this is where you can um, turn on the filter take it off here you can do a kind of a filtering on the fly so you can uh, and you can filter on all kinds of things here you can see uh, styles icons all kinds of things and we'll go into that in more detail later and uh, here you can uh, once you have the filter set you can uh, you can mark or you can highlight all of them that are in that filter so let's go to the next one F bar and we're going to turn off the filter toolbar so this is showing you what mappings have been made to the different function keys this is if nothing else is held down just the function key by itself but I, I'm going to hold down the uh, shift key and watch these change so shift that's if I hold the shift key down and press a uh, function key now none of these have been assigned so now I'm going to hold the control key down and you can see that control F2 would show you the icon from table dialog control F3 lets you edit a node details in the dialog alt Um, Alt F3 will is the uh, minimize node, which makes it so you can't see uh, details. And um, Alt F9 is edit attribute in line, in line. Now I'm pressing Shift Control. 
so nothing has been mapped if I press shift control and press the function key nothing would happen I might get an error shift alt same thing nothing's been mapped and control alt then again nothing's been mapped but I could map anything to those combinations so let's go down and take a look at the icons toolbar and turn off the F bar so all those other things we've looked at are at the top icons toolbar is at the left now I have this set up so that each one of these is in a category when I press that it opens up all of the different icons in that category so here we have um, media we have flags we have arrows we have symbols math symbols now I, that's because if I press control and hold down the less than sign it'll take me into the prop into the um, preferences and on the appearance tab if I scroll down all the way here that's because I have this checked if I didn't have that checked then they would not be grouped together in categories it'd just be one solid bunch of icons here and I'd have to scroll down so let's look at the status line and we'll take this uh, so the status line if I have let me put in a couple of nodes here and then we'll drag this down to where it's close to the status line let's say now this tells us the ID and this is the uh, rich text format so they each have separate IDs but let's I'm gonna right click on here and go to link real quick you won't maybe know what I'm doing here but we'll cover it later now I'm gonna right click again go to link and I'm gonna make uh, make link to anchor first I set the ASDF to be an anchor now I'm gonna make a link to that anchor here you'll notice this arrow let me zoom here that's what this arrow means it's a link so if I'm on here my status bar tells me that's the ID number and that's the uh, rich text format indicator if I go down here and click it's a different ID but it's showing me that it has a link back to this node so the the uh, and also if you if you have any errors show up in the <coughs> excuse me in the program they'll show up here on the status line too so I'm going to click back on the root and press escape that'll center it again so now I'm going to right click again and uh, click on scroll gar bars right click unclick this status line now I have these scroll bars I'm going to take off zoom on the right and on the bottom if I scroll it pans the map now a quick and easy way to pan the map is to just anywhere where there's not a node just hold down your left mouse button and drag and you're, you can pan the map anywhere you want to within what's currently visible so let's go back and um, open the properties panel and close down the scroll bars so this properties panel lets you uh, control different elements of the way a node is formatted now I'm going to move this over here so you can see a little bit on the font size I can change that with the keyboard by holding that clicking on a node and holding down shift control and then the up or the uh, plus sign on the number pad and watch what happens over here when I do that each time I do do that it uh, increases the font size and that's reflected here now the other way the other direction for that is to just make the changes here and you'll see them reflected over here so I'm going to go back to 12 point and over here on the calendar and attributes you can set reminders and uh, play with attributes now in the version 1.6.1 there's another tab up here for presentations and I encourage you to try that version 1.6.1 
and just play around with the presentations. I'm going to switch over to uh, that version and open up my properties panel and there you see what presentations look like. It's kind of uh, fun to play around with. So we're going back to uh, the current version. I'm going to close the properties panel by right clicking and we'll go down to the note panel right click and close the properties panel. So the note panel see if I'm on ASDF right now this node I can come over here and just start typing and it can be all kinds of text it can be tons of text and you can control where this is located by uh, let's go back to the menu bar view notes and you can control the position it can either be at the top left right or bottom let's put it at the bottom and you can also move this so that you can see more or less of the notes okay right click um, let's take that off right click and let's take a look at some of these other things background colors you can set the color for the background whatever color you want now I just control Z to undo that and also instead of looking at the map like this um, which is the way a map normally looks uh, let's make a copy of this over here so that's the way a map would normally look so if you right click and go down to outline view it puts everything under Neath instead of radiating outward so this is more like a traditional outline and you can work on it any if you'd like this if you want um, we'll put uh, a couple of nodes like that and we'll go back to uh, the regular map view so those are the new nodes we put in and let's look uh, zoom to fit page and if you want to make this right in the center you'd right click and center that node see what else is there and you can go to the root this is escape key is probably one of the most used keys on the keyboard in the uh, in a mind map so anytime you're uh, at a different node or you know you moved it uh, around by panning it pressing escape will get you back to the root node and uh, that looks like about all for this uh, so again, we'll go back to the other map and look at this. So you have all these different options to have total control over the workspace, which is really handy. Sometimes you, you want to have a lot of these open. Sometimes you want to have just bare bones. So anyway, I hope this has been useful, and thanks for watching.